Tempers flare in this small Lithuanian village as locals protest the building of a new refugee camp. It will soon house hundreds from Iraq, Syria, and Africa, and these Lithuanians fear the better life migrants seek will come at the expense of their own. The migrants won't let us live in peace. They've decided to invade this small village. There will be more immigrants here than locals. We have small children. Who will guarantee they are safe? The government here has little choice but to keep building camps, as record numbers of migrants make this tiny country the newest refugee hotspot in an ongoing crisis that has plagued the European Union since 2015. Lithuanian officials say Belarus is weaponizing migrants against them. This would be a great place to go camping if it wasn't for all the mosquitoes. I'm on the border between Lithuania on this side and Belarus. That's that post back there. In fact, there are a lot of people camping right back in those woods behind me, and they're preparing to cross illegally into the European Union. Uh, many of them are unaccompanied minors, or at least they say they are. When we went and spoke with the head of the migrant center on the Lithuanian side today, she told us some of those unaccompanied minors are actually not. I can see the people and I can guess they are strongly built and uh, they, they don't, don't seem to be minors. So they pretend to be 16 or 17, but I think they are maybe 25, 28. Conflict has been brewing with Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko after allegations recent elections were rigged. Known as Europe's last dictator, Lukashenko has threatened to flood the EU with migrants and worse. We thought ourselves immune, and uh, until a few months ago, when the uh, Belarusian dictator decided that he would use migration flows as a means to punish Lithuania for its uh, principal stance, that we did not recognize the, the, the stolen election. And so uh, his uh, border guards suddenly started just propelling people. And, and then uh, explicitly, uh, Lukashenko said that he was going to flood EU and the countries which oppose his regime with migrants, drugs, and recently said also radioactive materials. And the migrants also admit the Belarusian government is behind the push. One month ago, the Lukashenko, there is an uh, open uh, visa from Iraq person. I don't know, maybe they need more people come in Minsk, and I think they have problems with Lithuania. That's why they open visa for us. This refugee center hosts migrants from all over the world, as far away as Venezuela. But most of the migrants come from the Middle East, especially Iraq and Kurdistan. However, almost none of them actually qualify for asylum. So I don't know how long time I stay here. We are not animal. We are human, brother. We are human. It's no matter the Lukashenko, they have problem. He's, not, he's okay, he's not okay. I don't care from Lukashenko. I don't care for the border. I care about me and about these people. And the weaponization of migrants isn't helping. These Iraqis won't be allowed to continue into the EU because Lithuania knows each one that succeeds means many more will come. Meanwhile, the government is scrambling to stop others from crossing. So uh, we've trying to increase the uh, physical presence of, uh, of our officers at the border, as well as some physical barriers that we are imposing in the uh, sectors where we think that the, the, the pressure likely to be highest. I and my government intend to do whatever it takes to absolutely ensure that only people who are persecuted for political reasons stay here, and we are a friendly country to this end. In Vilnius, Lithuania, I'm Chuck Holton for CBN News.